grandmother was, well, she still is, because she's still alive, she still wears a title, she is an evangelist and a Baptist minister. I don't remember missing church from the time I lived with her until I was old enough to make the decision on my own um, not to go and to ultimately um, convert to a different religion. Because of my grandmother's deep ties to the church and to the people who ran the church and her associations affiliated with the church, my attendance was regular and I saw firsthand and early on what was wrong with the black church. The biggest problem with the black church is the many black male preachers who are running it. The black church is so important because it has been considered to be the cornerstone of the black community. When other own black owned organizations and black ran institutions have folded, it seems like the black church was always the place to go, not just for spiritual fortification, but to organize the community and to make political decisions and to address key issues affecting black people. I know that's how it was with the black churches that I attended. Many times we went and there weren't sermons being preached. They were talking about politics and ways to, to better the community and problems plaguing the community. With this said, I think that the black church and the leaders of the black church have a tremendous amount of power and influence. We need for those people in charge of our churches to be fit to lead and to be upstanding. When the head of anything is dirty, the rest follows or ultimately suffers. To me, it seems like the dirtiest among the black community wants to wear the title of pastor, a reverend, or preacher. It's now common knowledge that the average black male preacher, not all, but too many, they're nothing more than frauds or jokes. I saw this firsthand when I was a child, and I still see it now when I attend Baptist or Methodist churches that have black male preachers as the leaders or the pastors. Many are called, but few are chosen. Not many people are capable of living a life spotless enough to be a spiritual leader. But this is not stopping the average, or should I say below average, black man from trying to wear that title. I blame, I personally blame, black male leaders more than racism or the new thing to blame, feminism. I blame the new black male leaders more than the thugs or drugs for the current condition and the current state of black people. Any dirty, dishonest, lying, silly pseudo-intellect with a Bible seems to be playing reverend these days. Most black men, not all, most black men with Bibles tend to scare me. They scare me more than drug dealers. And both groups seem to have similar agendas. Day before yesterday, I thought about the slimy black male pastors that I've known and a few that I unfortunately still have the misfortune of knowing. I thought about them. They came to mind when I watched Soul and Black's paranoid rant about my sister in glorious battle, among other people, and myself yesterday. He dropped all of our names in his little video. It was very pathetic. I was alarmed when I looked at the information box next to the video. It was like a book of information that he typed, which was just full of conspiracy theories and paranoid delusions, name-calling. He had like a little call to war there. I think he likened himself to Shaka Zulu. And of course, it was full of a bunch of lies. This sick little boy is even trying to crawl back up the tail of former friends that he turned into foes on YouTube, all under the guise of getting rid of those who are attempting to stifle his movement. The entire video was proof positive to me of Soul and Black's insanity. I almost fell out of my chair when he lifted up the Bible, 
with one hand and shortly thereafter he cursed just like a so-called no good black preacher he was serving god with one hand and the devil with his mouth he's a joke soul and black is a joke soul and black made a horrible video about me the video was seen on his page and it was viewed by many people and a lot of those people shared the video with me due to its content it was flagged off but when a couple of mutual youtube friends questioned him about it he blew it off and he passed it off as some type of joke now however that I have returned the favor. My sister and I made a, a video about him to a much milder degree. Um, Solon Black is pretending that the video he made about me, it never happened or that he was not a part of it. He is doing what many so-called black preachers do. He is simply lying. That's all he's doing is lying. Only a social and spiritual degenerate on the bottom of the human total pole would use a Bible in the same video where he is lying and cursing. Only a so-called black preacher would do this with such ease. Of course, many of Soul and Black's low-class YouTube thug supporters are now PMing me and blogging me lies about the whole incident on um, the little stupid video that he made. And they're pretending that Soul and Black didn't make that raunchy video but that doesn't mean that Soul and Black didn't make the video. It just means that Soul and Black has a bunch of lying YouTube supporters. They lie just as much as he does. They're just as dishonest as he is. This brings me back to black men and what many of them do best. And that is they, they do defend and support each other come hell or high water. And it doesn't matter if... They're supporting someone who's right or someone who's wrong. All too often, unfortunately, they're supporting somebody who's wrong. I mean, where on God's green earth are the honest, upstanding, decent black men? Where are they hiding? How do so many black men, not all, not all, but so many black men are capable of burying their consciences? And they can sleep like babies at night knowing they have been behaving like the devil's on all day. It just it doesn't seem to bother and affect them. But I, I guess I'm wrong for even saying anything bad about black men. I'm wrong for blaming them because according to most black men, even evil liars like Soul and Black, and of course his little stupid followers and minions, it's not black men's fault that they are like they are. It's the white man's fault. Everything is the white man's fault. Or it's the feminist's fault. Or it's black women's fault. But it's not going to be their fault just a bunch of losers.